Alright, I'm unboxing this uh, Ultra D workbench from Sounds. It's really heavy duty and a nice wood tabletop. We're going to have to assemble it. But it's a multi use bench. You can do almost anything with it, but it, I like it because you can set the levels on it. And for the price tag of this, for a couple hundred bucks, you can't beat it. It's a really good buy. Alright. We're getting the box opened up. It's got the rails here, the legs, and the back support there. And the uh, main tabletop is on the, the bottom of all this. Really well made. It comes with all your hardware and uh, rubber feet and everything right here. So let's get started and get all this opened up. Alright, I got all the box open. You can see this is the underside of the block. These are our two rail supports going to go on here. And I'll put them all on there and there's the back brace right there. That's a really thick tabletop. And these are the three legs over here. And they slide up and down. That's what's going to make this pretty nice. You just set it for the height you want. So let's start assembling. Here, I already got the uh, two rails on the bottom here. Everything is just thumb tight. You don't tighten it all the way up. You just finger tighten everything until you get it all together. Then we'll go back and re tighten all. Right now, I've just done them all with fingers. I'm going to give you another look at this hardware. You got your adjuster. You can throw in a little wrench. It's nice to give you one. And you got the six heavy duty rubber feet, and they're adjustable. So if it locks around or sitting on an unlevel surface, there's the back support. It's coming along. I got the first leg here in place. And as I said, they slide up and down. And we'll get the other two down here in just a little bit. We got two legs on there now. They're all coming along the rails. We'll get the other one on down here. All right, we got all three legs on there. I demonstrated earlier, they'll all slide up and down. I'll get the feet on there next. I'll get the legs adjusted. Then we'll get that bar on there. I got all the little black feet on there. And they're adjustable if you have it wobbling on a floor to front level or something. Overview the construction here. Everything's thumb tightened. It's not tightened up until you get it all together. Then you go back and re tighten it. That way everything lines up pretty easy. Let me get these uh, legs uh, set up to where the height I want them. But if we put the bar, there's a bar over there. We don't want to put it on until we get all the legs set. I just found that to be easier. got the legs adjusted up to 30 foot. So this can be a computer set up this and I measure the others. Everything's thumb tightened. Not tightened up all the way yet. I did this because you can see they're loose and that way everything lines up easier. So I'll just go back and re-tighten all this stuff. I'm going to put some power strips on here for my computer while I've got it upside down and some screws for the wires. A little modification to make it easier instead of doing it while standing up. Get this ready for my cables. And I'll be replacing this old crap over here, all these old file cabinets and stuff. I have everything lined up sitting on that. So this whole area here will be replaced with this new table. This is a big mess over here. 30 foot high. Same height as my other tables. And you raise it like 37, has these adjusters. You got all my power strips here because it's going to be a computer type setup. Again, it's an Ultra HD, really well made.
We got everything done here. It's all set up. Compared to mold tables. Got all the computers and get it all cleaned up pretty much and everything. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. And thank you for watching.